This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. I hope you guys can see me. So welcome back to Python 3 series. And uh, in the previous session, we have covered what are the different functions are available, how to create a function, how to call a function, how to pass parameters in a particular function and all those things. So today I'm going to cover a very simple thing. Uh, this is the extended thing of function. There are three major uh, Types, uh, different types of functions are available in okay and you can define uh, three different types of functions also in, in Python we have we can pass a number of arguments we can pass the keyword arguments also in the form of key and value pair format and we will see what do you mean by lambda functions also right so it's very simple and uh, let's start so I'm gonna create one uh, Python file. Let's see, my Python file is uh, function concept. Okay, part two. Let's see. And uh, okay, so first I'm gonna tell you that okay, how can you pass a simple key and value pair format? So simple. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to create a login function. And in this particular login function, uh, let's see. I'm expecting two things. My expectation is uh, let's see username comma password right and simple print the same username comma password whatever the value that you are passing you just print it on the console so you can call this particular function in two ways either you pass uh, let's see my username is uh, Naveen and my password is let's see test123 right and then if you call this if you run it you will see that you are getting Naveen and 123 in the console over here right fine so this is the first way that we have already seen you can pass like this also guys login and whatever the variable name that you are using you can pass variable is equal to whatever the value what is the value my value is let's see uh, naveen test this is my username comma password is equal to whatever the password let's see test at the rate one two three like this also you can pass you can directly use the keyword keyword whatever the keyword that you are passing that is the same keyword that you have to use while calling so same username and same username you have to use it over here so if you run it see we are getting over here that Naveen test and password is test123 at the rate 123 but don't do these this kind of mistake that okay if you are doing like this let's see I'm passing name is equal to something like this Naveen okay comma and uh, let's see name one is equal to something like this test at the rate one two three right so if you now if you run it what will happen it will give you error because name and name one both are not recognized so it's saying that okay login got an unexpected keyword argument name so this is not accepted so this will not work so you have to pass the exact keyword and password over here Right, so this thing and this should remain same. Then only it will work. So this is how we can pass the key and value pair format also like this. Now, let's see how to pass a different, okay, uh, a different variables. I mean, different values in a single variable. So we have different type of function that is called, okay, this type of function is called the star argument. So what do you mean by single star argument? So single star argument means let's see I'm creating a function uh, def function get uh, marks okay. get mark and simple write a star let's see argument okay star arg or args or whatever you want to write you can write it like this and then what I'll do one second this this conference will now be recorded. Okay, so what I'm saying is that you can create like this. Let's see, and I'm simple uh, create uh, one for loop over here like this for x in arg. Okay, so this arg you can pass n number of parameters. I'll show you how to do that, and it will behave like an array. And simple print the value of x. Okay, now you, you just call this method, and you can pass n number of parameters. Let's see, get marks. I'm passing. Let's see. Uh, 10 comma 20 or uh, 23 comma 78 comma 45 comma 80 like this 
and uh, when you call this particular function all these values okay all these five values will be stored in this particular arg star arg you can give any name and then how to get the values from this particular simple array simple x in arg you will write a for loop and keep printing the value of x so this is a very good stuff of well in python and if you see that we are getting complete output over here 10 23 78 45 and 80 like this okay so this will work for any other let's see i'm passing get marks and uh, or uh, let's see i'm passing some grades let's see grade a grade uh, a plus right grade b and grade b minus something like this and then if you run it then you will see you will get the complete grades over here as well so it will work for integers variables and uh, sorry uh, numeric variables integer variables string variables whatever so this is a very good utility is available over here right so this is what we are passing n number of values over there similarly you can pass n number of uh, keyword arguments also so now the next thing is uh, keyword arguments so keyword argument is denoted by star star argument how to use that so let's say i'm creating a function definition function and uh, okay so let's say i'm creating a function get, uh, get student marks right so get a student marks is there and here i have to pass star star args like this it means i can pass key and value pair format so how will you use it so simple i use like this for let's see key is represented by key comma uh, value is represented by value keyword and then i'll simple write in in what in let's jump to that in args okay and uh, args dot we have to use the method base items method like this it means whatever argument that you are passing how many arguments are available okay how many items are available in this particular args and then simple print so you know how to print so we have already seen that percent s is equal to equal to let's see we are writing percent s and then percentage and i'm simple writing key comma value okay you have to practice with this kind of assignment guys with this kind of uh, syntax and this percent s we have to write in a bracket like this over here okay and now see i'm passing i'll call this particular method over here like this and i can call different kind of keyword and value pair format so let's see for a student marks uh, and uh, the student name is uh, naveen is equal to marks are 10 like this and for a tom is equal to marks are 20 and then for peter is equal to 30 like this and then you just run it and then see the output can you see that we are getting naveen is equal to equal to 10 tom equal to equal to 20 and peter is equal to equal to 30 like this so if you want to okay provide some more formatting like this you can do it like this and then you run it again you see naveen tom peter i'm getting the respective key and value pair formats over here so th these are the small small very good things are available in python guys so you please uh, practice with these things now let's see this is a standard method a very generic method that i have created now let's see i'm passing uh get the student marks and get the student marks let's see i'm passing for a different type of argument let's see this time i'm passing uh, okay and uh, let's see your key is equal to your key is apple okay your key is apple and uh, your seller name is equal to let's see zeon something like this so one seller is there and zeon is there so if you run it you will see the output you are getting key is equal to equal to apple and seller name is equal to equal to zeon so like this also you can pass so this is a very good thing is available this is called keyword arguments okay okay now one last thing we will see lambda functions what do you mean by lambda functions so lambda function is an anonymous function okay anonymous function what do you mean by lambda function lambda function a function 
Okay, let me write some notes. A function without any name. Okay, a function without any name. A function which does not have any name over there. So, how to create such kind of function? So simple with the help of lambda keyword. So you just need to write one lambda keyword. Let's say I'm simple writing lambda keyword is available. Lambda x. What do you want to do with this x? I want to get a cube of this x. So let's see x multiplied by x multiplied by x. Like this. So this is called guys a lambda function. And this lambda function I want to store let's see in some cube variable. Right? So this cube variable. This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so what I'm going to say is that, so this is called a lambda function. So here you see that, okay, simple, I have written one single line statement passing one parameter, but this line does not have any function base. So you have to learn this thing. This is called a different type of lambda. I mean, different type of function that is called lambda function. Now, how to call it? So simple, let's see, I'm simple writing print and uh, you have to call it like this, whatever the variable that you have assigned and you have to pass the value of X over here. Let's say I'm passing four and now see the magic. And if you run it, I'm getting the cube of four, right? So four multiplied by four by four, like this three times. So I'm getting cube of four like this. So this is called a Lambda function, which does not have any name. It does not have any function name, but this is also called anonymous function. So people might ask you, at the time of interview, give me, okay, write a lambda function and what do you mean by lambda function over here? So like this, you can do it. So let's see, I'll give you one more example. I'll simple write lambda and uh, name something like this. Or let's see, I'm writing something uh, marks. And what do you want to do with marks? So marks plus 30 bonus marks like this. And then you have to store somewhere. So let's see, I'm storing some uh, total is equal to this and then this total will behave like a function so then you can print it directly over here that print and what do you want to pass so let's see i want to pass 100 so 100 plus 30 it will give you 130 you see it will give you oh, it's giving you none so that's so that so one second marks and uh, oh sorry see this is total we have to pass it over here sorry about that total variable we have to pass is a typo mistake and now you are getting one thing okay so guys python is easy to learn but you have to remember these small small things because you all are from java background or maybe some different programming background and if you are learning like this python after java it will be difficult for you a little bit but when you learn it only mantra is practice daily basis it will give you it's very easy and you just need to be habitual with these things. I'm pretty much sure that okay, you can easily learn all these things. Okay, so this is these three, four things I really wanted to cover. Actually, I missed it in function part one, actually. So I, that's why I thought of, okay, you can pass likely simple uh, keyword driven also, uh, uh, sorry, keyword and uh, key and value pair format. You can pass, you can pass uh, multiple arguments also. You can pass like this and you can pass multiple keyword arguments also in the form of key and value pair format. And the last one is the Lambda function <laughs> okay so these things we will be using when we design the system frameworks and all these things later on so these things will be very useful for you guys. okay so thanks for watching this video guys and uh, the next video we will be covering some more interesting things with respect to python like what do you mean by class objects and everything in python okay so keep watching Naveen automation labs and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section definitely i would like to okay cool Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next session.